or in the skeletal system. The skeletal system includes the bone, the cartilage, joint, ligaments, and connective tissues. The cartilage. So cartilage are soft bones. We talk about cartilage in the connective tissues. We have three different kinds of cartilages. Hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibro cartilage. Cartilage is mainly water, so in their uh, matrix is mainly water, 60 to 80 percent water. And it's a vascular, so no blood vessel, which means if you damage your cartilage and uh, you take a long time to heal because the nutrients need to use simple diffusion to move into the, the cell. It's not innovated. Every time you see the word innovation means the nerve touch it. So it's not innovated. Uh, you damage your cartilage, you won't feel it. And when you when you feel like your knee hurt, your joint hurt, that's after you you move all the cartilage away, and you have a bone rub against another bone, and that's when you feel the pain. So usually that's too late. So the cartilage is not innovated. And outside the cartilage, they have the dense irregular connective tissue cover it to maintain the shape also resist expansion, so it's called the perichondria. That's the membrane covered outside. The first kind of cartilage, hyaline cartilage, and that's the most abundant one you find in the body. And you find between bone and bone, we call the joint, uh, you have hyaline cartilage. Also between the, the ribs uh, to the sternum, also you have cartilage. And you also use this kind of cartilage for the embryonic skeletal system. When the embryo develops the bone system, they will develop a cartilage first, and then slowly turn the cartilage into, into bones. And the cartilage is hyaline cartilage. The second one, elastic cartilage. So this kind of cartilage, you see a lot of elastic fiber. Usually their color are darker, uh, the blue, almost black color under the staining. And the the name tell you is elastic. So the, this kind of cartilage is bendable. So you find them in the ear, also in the epiglottis, and that's the elastic cartilage. The third one, fibro cartilage. That's the strong cartilage, and you put them in a the place they they need to support a lot of physical uh, weight, like intervertebral disc between the vertebral column and vertebral column. And also in your knee, uh, meniscus. Meniscus are those pads in the in the knee uh, to take the 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 pressure you put on the knee, and that's fibro cartilage. Now let's look at the the bone. So the bones function support against gravity storage. So you have the calcium in the bone matrix. It's mainly the calcium. Calcium, uh, calcium, calcium phosphate. So these two are in the bone matrix. In the bone marrow, you have the yellow bone marrow, and that's where they store the fat. And you also have the red bone marrow. So the, the red bone marrow is the blood synthesis. So it produces the blood cell. And also protection leverage function. So the bones uh, the specialized cells in the bone, only 2% are bone cells, so the other 98% are bone matrix. And in the bone matrix, you found calcium, calcium is the main one, calcium phosphate. So two-thirds of the bone weight come from the calcium. And you also have the collagen fiber, give your bone some flexibility. Bones can be divided into different groups based on the shape, not based on the real distance. So if the shape is a long shape, it's a long bone. So you can have a very short long bone. As long as the shape is long, it's a long bone. Like your finger, it's a long bone. Uh, short bone, they're, they have, they're short, like the couple, that's the bones in your uh, wrist. And the flat bone, that's a flat shape. Irregular, if that it does not belong to all these three, and it's irregular bone. 
So the bones can be put into these four different categories based on the shape. Okay, let's do some question like this one. That's your hip bone. So that's a irregular bone. Now give it a hand. This is a very unique hand. This person has six fingers. So this we call them phalanges and these are the long bone. And these are the couple couples, yeah, they are short bones. And that's scapuline, that's your shoulder blade, it's a flat bone. So I can give you a bone, ask you what, what shape it is. So based on the shape. And this is called the patella, that's one of the sesamoid bones. Sesamoid bone definition is it's hidden in the tendon. So you can have this, uh, is the patella is hidden in the quadriceps tendon. That's the 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 tendon to connect your quadriceps, your thigh muscles into your uh, tibia. So it will go through the patella, and that's the sesamoid bone. So this is the one protect your knee. You can also find some sesamoid bones in the tendon, especially you uh, rub them too much. You can have those sesamoid bone hidden inside the tendon. Between bone and bone, we call the suture. Uh, in in the skull, you find the suture, and that's because when the baby is is born, it need to go through the birth canal, and the human's head is huge. So uh, the human's head is the biggest size we can have, and still be able to go through the the birth canal, the pelvic bone. So uh, the mother nature make the baby easier to go through the birth canal by make this loose, and they don't have this part. And after the baby is born, the first year, they're going to glue them together. And that's the suture. Also, this part grow back. So the suture is, is highly variable. And it's as strong as the bone. Now let's look at the bone anatomy. So the long bone, the two part co-epiphysis. So you have the proximal epiphysis, distal epiphysis, the inside part called diaphysis. And now let's cut it open. When cut it open, okay, uh, the inside you have the spongy bone, you have the compact bone. And this is the this is the cavity. So that's where your bone marrow is located. And the outside of the bone you have the uh, periosteum, there's the membrane cover it, and inside you have the endoosteum, there's the membrane cover the inside layer. And these two ends, you have a cartilage. And these are the spongy bone. The spongy structure called trabecula. So they, they look like a sponge, and they don't have a specific direction, so they can take the, com the, take the impact from any direction. And there's the compact bone and that's the outside cartilage. Different from cartilage, cartilage is a vascular. The bone has a lot of blood vessel. So if you break your bone, you bleed a lot. And also one function of the bone is produce uh, new red blood cells. So it makes sense, you have a lot of blood vessel inside. So that's the bone structure, that's the compact bone. And inside the cavity, this is a yellow bone marrow, so that's the fat. And that's your skull. So skull have two layers of compact bone, and they sandwich the spongy bone, trabecula. And the spongy bone look weak, but it's, it's actually very, very tough. And the reason you put a lot of trabecula in your skull is you could not predict where the impact may come from and your skull need to protect your brain and that's why they put uh, a lot of trabecula so they are able to take the impact from any direction and let's take a short break <laughs>